this uh, is Day Gardens episode seven, the finale. Um, I could thank you guys enough for all the support and all that you guys have just done for me. Um, it doesn't have to necessarily mean you give me anything or or whatever, but every post you like, everything you share, um, that is benefiting to me. And uh, I thank you guys because I think we all you know, are in the same uh, area when we are supporting each other. So thank you guys so much. Um, <clears throat> this one is a fun episode uh, because uh, I remember starting episode one and not knowing what the hell I was doing. Um, but after each episode, I got better and better. Um, and I feel that um, it's, you know, the next series moving forward is just going to get even more better. So um, thank you guys for tuning into that also and uh, subscribing to our YouTube channel. I really appreciate that. Um, so um, what I wanted to do today is uh, introduce you guys to a really good friend of mine. Um, his name is Martin Harris. And um, I had to bring him on because not only what he does or who who he is um his story is just like like amazing like i think when you think back to times where you're just like damn you know what i need that that big break but you you know you're still steadying the course and that big thing happens is it, it, could, it can either break or make you um his story is is similar to just that so um What's up, Martin? How What's you doing? Up? Brother? What's up, brother? Yeah, how you doing? All right, doing good. Doing, 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 doing good. Thank, thank you for yeah, having yeah. me. Having me on your show, um, on your platform, I appreciate it. What's up, guys? My name is Martin Harris, Mister Grace, the roof <laughs> in the building. Here with my boy Day Garden, man. I just appreciate you so much yeah. for having me on. Um, thank you. And a little thank bit about you. myself, man. Just, uh, just a little bit about what I'm doing. Yeah, we'll we'll, we'll get to that. But I, I was wondering because you brought the book, so. Tell me a little bit about that book. I don't know if you guys see that, but there you go. That's the book. Right, but, right. Um, just, you know, empowerment, bro. Mm -hmm. um, what this is, is quotes and confirmations from my brother, uh, Beyond Wind. Everything you need to hear to live an inspired and purposeful life. Um, we just trying to pass information and share information and uh, just yeah. empower yourself, brother. Um, exactly. Really, we just, we just trying to bring a quality service and, and, and and just bring in enlightenment into our community. I feel like not not a, enough of us is reading, and not a, mm -hmm. enough of us is um, sharing the information with each other. So, you know, I just like to carry books like this one and, and you know, with me, and and just make it cool to you know show that we're reading. We we actually are reading. We're 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 getting the information. Exactly. So, and and yeah, that, that's one thing that I. Um, I always like to tell people, I mean, whether it be a book or or a magazine or any type of reading, um, it's information, right? So once you read it, it's always gonna stick with you if you you wanna just receive it, right? And um, just you just having that book is, uh, seems to be a reflection on um, Ray's roof. Um, right. So let's um, dive into that then, because I know you've been doing the roofing thing. Yes. Uh, and yes. then, um, uh, the story is amazing, but we ain't getting into that right now. We're talking about Raise the Roof right now, so right. we get to that at the end. But so, tell us about Raise the Roof. Uh, like, where where did it all start? Like, where, like tell me that that time where you were just like, you know what? It's it's time. Um, well, I just you know recently got in business for myself, um, and I was kind of forced into business through the COVID and just the whole pandemic and just the response of it. Um, yeah. So Raise the Roof came from, I was trying to think of a unique way, something clever to uh, brand myself and, and give myself a unique name for my company. I like it. I mean, because like, without that. this, I like, raised the roof. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's a, you know, and you know none, none of you 2000 babies probably would know nothing about that. <laughs> like back there. <laughs> but, yeah, yeah that exactly. Like, um, but honestly, we just try to provide a quality service to our community. Um, we're just trying to fix the problems that our community has. So a lot of uh, leak repairs, um, broken tiles, shingles, um, skylights. You know, there's a lot of... And 
And that's true. Not to cut you off, uh, but since you're on it, that, that's very true uh, because that's how a lot of the times gentrification happens. Uh, because now you get these lawyers and these people that want to go into these neighborhoods and, and call city officials and say, oh, the roof is broken or they're, you know what I mean? It's not that length that it's supposed to be. So a lot of the times um, that those little reasons like that are ways people infiltrate neighborhoods and get access to property. So don't forget that. And for those who don't want to believe that, just do your research and um, you'll definitely um, see what I'm talking about. Just look at Venice Beach. That's a perfect example. But um, back to um, raising the roof. So you wanted to fix the, the problems with the leaks. Right. And so, well, a unique story about me is I worked for a company previously before I got started. Um, I was there for about a year and a half. And I, I started off at the bottom. You know, I mm-hmm. worked my way from the bottom to the very top. Um, so at that time, the company sent me uh, to Mr. Child's house. You never seen the, the movie uh, The Hangover? Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 so, yeah. Uh, yeah. You know the Asian guy, Mr. Child? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, so my story <laughs> is they, the company messed up and sent me to Mr. Child's house, right? Yeah. So a couple of kids, What's his, uh, his, really? his name is Ken Gian. Oh, okay. So um, they sent me to his house. And prior to me going to his house, he called me and said, Mark, you must be really good at what you do because I had to call four people to get your number. <laughs> And uh, he's like, I don't do that, I'm Mr. Child. So anyway, yeah. long story short, they sent me to his house, very nice, humble, very humble guy. I mean, his wife is very humble, uh, respectful people. And they sent me to his house to fix a small problem. So I go to his house, and he had rocks coming down into his courtyard. He didn't like that. Yeah. So I go up there, I just took the rocks down off of his, uh, out of his room, and out of his courtyard. So when he's like, Mark, I really like you. I, I, I like the service that you provide. And I like what you do, but I don't like your company. I do not like your company. Yeah. So he's like, I want to do something for you. He's like, he's like, I want to pay you. I'm going to pay them, but yeah. I want to pay you. Mm-hmm. And that is the moment that changed my life because mm-hmm. that gave me the empowerment to realize that if I could do this for Mr. Chow. Yeah, exactly. Then I could do this for anybody. I feel that, and it, so, it was, and I felt like just you know me hearing that right now. Um, I felt like it was the service, but not only the service, but you you made him very comfortable because right. a lot of people, especially nowadays, um, you know, your guard is a little bit higher right. than it would it would be normal. But people, real people, feel vibes, and right. the vibes were really good, and that's why he he felt something that day, and that's why. Yeah, yeah. And, and before I left, he was like, well, Martin, what, what can I do for you? And um, I just asked him, like, well, you know, just tell, tell your neighbors. You yeah. Know? But he's like, I, I want to do a little bit more for you. Yeah. He's like, well, do you have Twitter or Instagram? And I was like, well, you know, I got Instagram. Yeah. So yeah. he's like, follow Mr. <laughs> Razor Roof on Instagram. Yeah, yeah. And so he followed me. Uh-huh. And, and he, sh- he, he shots me out. He supports me. And I try to shout him out and support him as much as I can. So, yeah, exactly. Um, you know, shout out Ken Young. You know, uh, Mr. Chow, much love. You the shit. Thank you, man. You this know. is a good man right here. I appreciate you. Um, I, that's that's just amazing because I think uh, nowadays a lot of people want to be a Mr. Chow, right? right. They want to be that, but well, little they little do they know that he's actually a doctor, right? And I, I mean, I just think it starts from the empowerment. Um, the reason why I was able to start my company. The way things that happened to me was I, I started reaching out for uh, personal development. So I started getting my, my credit right. I started taking classes. Um, with me and my brother Essence, you know, shout out uh, Ewok for United. Um, shout out E. We started taking classes and, and really flying out and, and paying money to take these different classes and meet these different people to where we can meet people like Beyond Man or, or Alex Gay and or Earth Your Leisure and, um, and really change our dynamic and change the trajectory of our, uh, what we were looking at. So um, that's really what changed me and, and changed my outlook on life was um, reaching out and getting the empowerment as far as um, personal development. Exactly. You know, studying, reading sure. books, um, taking classes. And so, and then what, what would you 
say to that person right now that is, you know, just think back to where you were, what would you tell yourself back to where you were now? Um, you know what I mean? What would you tell, what, what would be the major like things that you would tell yourself? Um, I would tell to, 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 to number one, believe in yourself, mm -hmm. um, have no fear, um, seek knowledge, seek, seek mentorship. Yeah. Yeah. It, seek I, out, I think seek out true. people who can leave a lasting impact in your life. With, with something positive that's very true and figure out something that you can bring value to the community and, you know something legal where you can bring value to your community yeah you heard it from him i mean i think he's 100 percent correct um uh, maybe sometimes you know i think when it's different de generations it all sounds different but i guarantee it all is the same thing that they're telling us so um it's very important that we do seek um i'm not the smartest guy just because i'm right here in front of this camera doesn't mean you know what i mean i'm the smartest person or the funniest person in the world but i'm very you know confident in myself and what i do so of course i'm gonna you know present it as such um just like martin here he he he's out there with his company facing other companies every day you know there's people that want his money every day he and he's out there with the sharks every day and he's uh he's uh, succeeding so i mean it, it all takes that mental um capacity because i think everything that he listed is all mental we got legs we got arms we got a mouth we got the internet we got social media free platforms there should be no excuse to not being able to do anything that you want to do uh, right. And that's, he's a perfect example, and that's why this is Garden Talks, and it's the best damn show there is, because yes. I'm bringing you the real. And, uh, uh, I just want to, you know, I just want to thank you. I appreciate you. For yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, you know, and I just want to inspire anybody I can. If I can do it, trust me, you can do it too. So go get your LLC, get your credit right, you know, and then come in flexing, baby. Let's go. Exactly. Come in flexing, but... Also, so tell us uh, all the contact information for um, Razor Roof, um, and then let everybody know where they can find it, or you know where they can contact you guys. So it's just Razor Roof Bears. You can Google us. Um, you know you can contact me nine zero nine four three six six zero one one, and then always just hit up my uh, my Instagram, Mister Razor Roof. You know at Instagram. So you know let's do it. And I like I like how he did that. He he pulled up Mike Jones right now. I don't a lot of you a lot of y'all probably don't know who Mike Jones is, but <laughs> shout out to Mike Jones because what he just did right now was a huge marketing piece around the time of Mark Jones uh, 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 Mike Jones. So if you don't know who Mike Jones is, zero 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 whatever he said, go go get it. Uh, <laughs> oh, but anyways, you gotta go check, go go holler at them at Mr. Razor Roof, yo. You need so what 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 do you uh, repair or what? Um, let them know what you do. Pretty much all rooftops, um, residential rooftops. I try to oh. provide a really quality service for our community. So just call me, I will figure it out together. If you got a, you know, a leak in your bedroom, a leak in your kitchen, um, shingles tiles if you wanted your, your gutter cleaned out you just want your, your roof cleaned off if you have anything going on just call me i'll come out and fix it i promise you i will get it taken care of for a very quality price of a reasonable quality service so thank you you heard it here so we're gonna gotta get out here out of here my bad um but before we do got a shout out to my people at jess um thank you guys for not only uh you know, for the water and everything that you guys do, but you guys also just raise the bar for just every other company because you guys are so in uh, in touch with the community and you guys also um, just support a lot of um, people in the community. In the community, so thank you again, Jess. Um, so we're gonna be out of here, but we got one more thing. Don't hide your story. Somebody needs it. You hear that?
Don't forget, always growing forever. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> always growing forever learning. Peace, we out of here. <laughs> damn, I'm like, damn, we gonna chop that off, though. <laughs> that was good. So today we actually um, launched our, our shop page. So our shop page is now live. Like, it's been live since midnight. But, you know, I like to do things where it's just organic and real and I just launched it overnight just to see what it would do and uh, decided to wait till today to let you guys know. It's here. Uh, but anyways, let's get to Martin. Uh, Martin, I just want to say thank you again for sharing your story. Um, I really love where you're hitting and I really love what you got going. So thank you again for coming on the show and sharing your story and just your beliefs with everyone. Um, I think there is somebody in the world that is going to benefit from our talk. And as long as I can catch one, that's all that that makes it it makes it all worth it. Um, so thank you again, Martin, for coming on. Mr. Razor Roof, go check him out on Instagram, please. Um, and then also just wanted to let you guys know a little bit about what um, is on the website. Excuse me. So we have our Dress Planet tees. Um, there's one I'm wearing right now. This is uh, Cali Tan. We have Panther Black, and then we also have Forest Green. Um, they will be coming out, but that one is a, an exclusive one. Um, so if you haven't subscribed yet to the, the website, please, 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 please subscribe. Uh, we, all, we stay up to date. We always send newsletters. Um, we're not sending much spam. Um, just ask some of the subscribers. We're sending just legit information right to you and letting you know about certain drops and certain things that we have planned. Peace. You know, when I first started this shit, like, I didn't know what the hell I was doing. I said, um, a lot and just a lot of other things. Now that, you know, I've done a couple series and I, I really think I found my groove. So thank you to all you guys for your encouragement and um, sharing um, Garden Talks and just watching it and, and, and telling me about what you felt about it. I really appreciate that um, because we're, we don't want to build a fake platform. We, we want 100% real. We want to inspire people. We want to inspire people to grow. We want to inspire people to plant something. We want to inspire people to just do everything positively that they can. Um, so that's why Garden Talks is here. And um, I just want to thank you guys also for all the love on um, on just Instagram. And like, just because I not at a thousand followers don't mean I don't appreciate anything. I appreciate every single like, every single follow every single story watch everything i appreciate it um so thank you guys also for that and uh that's a wrap for welcome to day garden series one of garden talks uh we did at seven episodes and um we got a lot more left uh the next episode in series two we're going to jump in more into mind and the body and the spiritual and the the drive and um, you just don't have to own a business. You don't have to just be a gardener. Um, anyone is welcome to join Garden Talks. Anyone is welcome to sit on my platform and share their company, share their community projects, to share um, social justice, whatever it may be, I'm open arms. So uh, I'm here for everyone. I'm uh, here for the people. And uh, I appreciate you guys, and, and thank you. And make sure you guys tune in to Series 2, because Series 2 is just, mm, Series 2 is just good. It's damn good. All right, thank you guys. And don't forget, we're, we're always growing and forever.